Well, here's my uh, 1990 F Super Duty dump. <clears throat> when I bought it, had a cab on it. It was pretty rotted out, though. I originally bought the truck because I had a same year dump truck with a 460. I bought it for the bed. Uh, this truck wasn't running when I bought it. Doing a job for a guy next door. This was sitting in his yard. So, bought it for the bed. I was going to put it on my truck. Well, it has a 7.3 diesel. I didn't have the heart to tear it out, tear it apart, use it for what I needed it to. So, I decided to sell my good running 460. And I decided to invest into this thing. But, uh, bought a cab for it down in New Jersey. 400 bucks, rust free, but it's out of a 93, so of course the wiring isn't going to work. So I got to have everything kind of changed over and it's just going to be a plug and play wiring game. And then, of course, tail lights, all that. One side was flashing, one wasn't. So I'm just going to have it all ripped out and redone anyway. I just don't, I don't want to have to have any problems with it later down the road, so. It's got new tires on the rear, all four of them. Fronts are pretty dry rotted. That one keeps going flat, so. This is the start of my project. I got the old cab off. Got it all bagged up. It's getting ready to go down to the sandblasting shop. Frame's getting sandblasted on it. And then I'm going to go ahead and get it painted up black. And uh, get my new polyurethane body bushings for it. And then hopefully drop my cab on it and uh, go ahead and take it down to my shop and let the guys get cracking on it with the wiring and hooking all the uh, brake lines up and all that. It's getting all new fuel lines and just you name it. Rotors, everything, bushings. And then I got to get a cab mount for it here because that one got eight and through, but that's not a big deal, I guess. But shocks, you name it. Uh, I got the engine to turn over, but, shocking, should have guessed, but uh, the fuel injection pump is bad. The guy I bought it off of didn't know much about these trucks. Not a big diesel guy. Um, got my Duramax there, but I've only had a few diesels, so this is my first Ford diesel. Um, I'm hoping that it's just the injection pump, because I really don't want to go doing anything else to it motor-wise, but... By the time I get the cab on it and everything, if it comes down to putting the motor in it, I guess I will, but the guy bought, uh, I bought it off of, bought it off the original owner, and uh, he put a brand new bed on it, paid seven grand for the bed, and it's brand new, it's just oxidized from sitting in the sun, but that's my fun project for the year, and in here, I've got the old cab. Sorry about the lighting situation there, but as you can see, the rockers were gone on it. It was just falling apart. It was crumbling. I uh, pulled it off the truck, and it decided to go ahead and fold in half on me, so I hate rust. Unfortunately, that's what you get in Ohio, so it's been sitting here for a little while since I bought it. I only paid 1200 bucks for the truck, so... I ain't gonna complain too much. It had a plow on it when I got it. I already sold that for a thousand bucks. So, you know, I'm only in at two hundred dollars. So, I can't take a huge loss on it, even if I do end up getting rid of it. But that's not the plan. Hopefully, I could put this thing back together and get it running again. I like uh, I like seeing life brought back into these old trucks. Not a big Ford guy, but. I like projects, and that seems to be all the Fords I've ever had, so. This will be my uh, first YouTube video, so hopefully you guys enjoy, and uh, hopefully there's more to come. Appreciate it.